I'm hoping this will explain tracing a black and white image for you. Um, I don't have the image of the lips that you're working with, but this is a image. If you look down here at the information bar, it says image. So what first thing I need to do is trace it. And um, path trace bitmap, okay. And if I do the default, which is brightness cut off, click OK, select the path, all right. And then I'll go ahead and do colors as well. I'll do two for black and white. I'm going to uncheck all of these at the bottom, all right. Um, normally you would want to remove the background, but because the background is white and we have that included here, we don't need to do that, all right. So click OK for that. And now we have a group of two. This is the image. I can delete the image. All right, let me draw a red box back here so you can kind of see what's going on. And I'll move this here. All right, so this was our brightness cutoff. As you can see, there's no white. Inkscape sees white as transparent, right? So this one has the white, but if I ungroup it until it says no groups down here, okay, and deselect everything, select the white and delete it, as you can see, it deletes all the inside as well. So either way with a black and white image, what you're going to have to do is get your paint bucket. You can hit the letter, sorry about that, you can hit the letter U on your keyboard to get your paint bucket and left click and fill the areas that you want to be white. Okay, hold the shift key and it will put all of the white on one layer so that when you take it into design space it will cut as one layer and not 10 different pieces. Okay, I'll just do this right quick. All right, now if I select that, as you can see, it's all one layer. I'll control Z to put that back. Now, if I zoom way in, you can see there's gaps. How you can get rid of that with a black and white image is select your black image um, and go to path break apart, path union. And what that did was it filled in all those areas. So now your white lays on top of your black and you have no gaps. Um, so my suspicion is that you're tracing and you're not getting your white, um, because it's not really white. It's part of the background or Inkscape is just seeing it as transparent, which is what it does. Okay. Um, so you can delete this. Select both of these. You can go ahead and delete this one too. Select both of these and then save it as a plain SVG file. If you go to File, Save As, right down here, it says Inkscape SVG. Save it as a plain SVG. Give it a destination and a name. Um, and then when you, when you close out, it's going to ask you, do you want to save this as an Inkscape SVG? Just click No because you've already saved it. So um, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.